We should have her on the pod. Did so, you not see my Pookie video? There's nothing in common with a porn star. I, but, Thankfully, but, my husband thinks I'm unfucking believable. Oh my god! I mean, come on, you got uh, you got Chad in there who also thinks you're unbelievable. It's, it's PG. You got you got a million. Uh, I got three guys. You know. Right, right. Not today. You know, I really love showing up here. It's the one place in my entire life that I don't have to prepare anything. Like, you know, like I'm already sitting here like stressing, like what am I making for dinner for my kids? Like, what am I going to make for breakfast, lunch? I got to do this. This is the one place, the one thing I have in my life where I just show up. We do it all. I appreciate Keep growing your hair. Just keep growing your hair. I'll never cut it. That's all we let's Flawless bottoms. Flawless bottoms, yes. Flawless bottoms. <laughs> Flawless bottoms? Does that mean feet bottoms? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. This guy, Jamie. I actually am getting a haircut tomorrow. Don't worry, PG. Not too, just a little trimmy trim. Ooh. Gotta I'll... cover up the grays. Really? Get, get it trimmed. Are you afraid that PG might be upset about them? I don't know. Maybe I should just chop it off and see what happens. Whoa. Maybe you should reach out to him and let him know what you're doing. And I'll, make I'll sure it's okay. Sh- shoot him a DM, ask him. Um, I got a story for any. I get a thing on my phone and it says some bunny is turning one and my brother had a baby and it was the invite to my brother's baby's one year birthday party and it's like some bunny is turning one. It's like a drawing of a little bunny with a balloon and like it's so sweet and they're like, you know, we'd like to invite everyone to come celebrate Gabby's birthday and all this nice stuff and I'm like, okay. And then, you know, a day later or whatever in our family group chat, some my brother texts and goes, "Hey, Dad, just so you know, those replies are public. Like everyone could see when you RSVP." So my dad uh, replied yes, and then wrote, "Will there be any milfs in attendance?" <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to my niece's one-year-old birthday's reply, they, <laughs> it's like. Can't wait to celebrate on Gabby's special day. You guys are such so great parents to do. You guys, and then it's like, will there be any milfs <laughs> in attendance? <laughs> well, will there? That's what I said. I, I wrote in the family group chat. I was like, I think it's a genuine question. Like, I think he really wants Fair it. Fair question. When so I, needs to know them. if he needs to throw on a little cologne before. Fully, and and after um, laughing at it for a long time, I thought of any right away. I was like, I think any would like the story about my dad. I, I do like it. Your dad's the best. Yeah, you. Your dad's the best. <laughs> he's he's Your a dad's big fire dude. He's a big fan of uh, of my dad. Um, yeah, we're almost due for a call from him again. I, oh, there is more stuff on here. Okay, I thought it was just okay. Well, hold on. You have that photo, Zolo. I do. Am I gonna cry, Jamie? We lost a special <gasps> member of not today, pal. <laughs> A very special member of the show. He was there through good times, bad times. You got a lot of shit for it. I did. It was, uh, I was walking down the street. This was a sign from the gods that I was, I was wearing a team that was not the Yankees. I was wearing a hat and uh, I was getting a lot of shit for it. And I was walking down the street and I just heard plop and a bird shit all on my hat. And they say this is good luck. It, it when is. a bird shits on you. It but is. I'm like, is the good luck already used that if I wasn't wearing that hat, it would have went right in my mouth? Is that where the luck was no, used? No. Okay, good. So something good you is... You texted Gutter right after that happened, didn't you? Because he he I, he announced it. Yeah. Rob just got bird shit on him. I was oh, so sad. It was my favorite no hat. No saving that hat. I, loved, I mean, it's just not... It's not what it was. What was your favorite thing about the hat? Was it, it the was corduroy? Quarter, it just fit me. I felt like it fit me perfect. This hat fits you great. Just let it go. Thank you. Yeah, I've been, I know. But it was just a sad... You know, we got. I got that on our trip to New York. I know. Very sad. If you, if you could say, say a few words, please. Uh, for the... You know, you frame Robbie's face nice. Thanks for protecting his pure gut from ingesting... Bird feces. Thank you. Um, moving on. Later, San so, Diego. So hold up. You, you just you just can't wash hats or what, what's going on? Well, that was going to be my it's follow-up a very, question. It's a very <laughs> structured corduroy hat. And like I tried to get the bird shelf. It didn't really. It's just, it's just, it doesn't have to me the like, I don't feel the swag when I walk in a room with it now. You know what I mean? 
Oh, uh, so so it's it's got bad juju on it. Now. Yeah, it's kind of the taint. And not even so much bad juju because I think that's good luck. But it's just like it, there's like a you know a little, a little spot mark or there. something. So yeah, did it go in like, the garbage? What did you do? Uh, no, I have it just in case. It's like you know somebody's like, hey, could you help me move or some shit? I, I got it still. If I, you know for like a, a throw around, possible. But Can it's not help? it's not a premiere. Wait, it's not what? a not today pal hat. It's in case somebody says, like, can I help you move? What would its purpose be in that moment? I'm just, if I'm running out the door and I don't care about a hat, like, I'm not going to wear my favorite hat to go help someone move. You so know you I mean? wear the bird poo poo hat to do, to do some man's work. Yeah, if somebody needs, you okay. know, if I'm just running out, running out the door, don't care, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's not a special hat anymore. It was my favorite hat. I know. It's a big deal, James. You wore it a lot. Listen, I don't have, well, speaking of getting shit on, would you like to talk about your colonoscopy? Oh, yeah. I had my first colonoscopy. Thank you. Thank you. Boys. Responsible adults here. Well, they say you should get it at 40 as a woman? Uh, it used to be 50. Now they're saying closer to 40. Wow. Um, you got ahead of things. Yes. Young lady. So yeah. if you've never had one, you probably haven't, because I don't think there's many people over 70 listening to this podcast. 40. You uh, <laughs> were that. Um, the prep the day before is no solid food, just, um, clear liquid. So you can have, you can have like apple juice though, Sprite, ginger ale, what water, whatever. Mm. Then you drink the drink. Twice. <laughs> My drink, the first one was at 5.30 PM. You put it in 16 ounces of water and then you follow it up. Then you follow it up with just 16 ounces of plain water and then- <laughs> Yep. Let me tell you, I sat in our guest room because there's a perfect view from the toilet to the TV because you, you, you cannot stop it from coming. Like it was like a rumble that I heard. I didn't even feel. And then it was the release. Wow. And then I took a nap and I woke up at midnight to drink my second drink, which is like double the dose. And that one made me vomit. So I was sitting with, I'm so sorry to give everybody this visual. visual. No, this is really, great. Okay. Yeah, this is great. Just sitting. It'll, I've it'll, never double dragoned in my life. Let us put it that way. And wow. This was a first. Um, Maybe this will cause less stalkers for you. Yeah, clear them out. <laughs> or more. Is, get over more. me, everybody. Just weirder ones. <laughs> yeah, weird. Uh, so I binged an entire show on Netflix called Fool Me Once. Enjoyed it. Recommend it. Uh, while I was pooping and puking. And then I showed up to the colonoscopy place. I was 30 years younger than everybody in there, but it was like a factory. We were all, me and all the the gents were lined up, getting ready to take back. You get a little propofol nap, which was lovely. Wow, yeah. That was nice nap. Um, (laughs) And then... You still on it? (laughs) That was nice nap? That was nice nap. And then I came home and napped more for the rest of the day. That's sick. And I will say, I felt so good that night when I woke up. Like at 5 p.m. Well, you just got everything out of you and then did heroin. Everything was out. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, it's awesome. What's better than that? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm all clear. I'm good. I'm good, thankfully, because I have colon cancer in my family, so which is why I did it a bit early. But, um, yeah, that was uh, my first colonoscopy. Are we good for another, what is it, 10 10 years? years. 10 years. 10 years. Okay. 10 years. Would you, would you ever think about taking the first drink if you just wanted to like clear out your system or it's not fun? I was thinking about it. I'm like, there is a reason why you need a prescription to get this because the power that this, I don't even know what was in this fucking powder, but what, the power of this powder? Yeah. You, I was, this was coming out of my butt, like clear water, clear, clear, clear water. So then what were you throwing up? The drink. <laughs> okay. Because it was making me gag. Um, you, I watched, because uh, you watched Love on the Spectrum. Yes. How, how, how was? Uh, incredible. Like, Reference it daily in my head. Yes. Did you finish all of it? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's, that's tough. It's tough of for you. the second season? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it's only seven a episodes. couple, yeah. But I'm saying for you, it's tough oh, to get through two episodes of something. I know it is. But I was really. Yes, you get locked in. Yeah, How I was great. One of my favorite things is when like they're trying to say goodbye to each other and they just can't. Because they don't know how to really say, I know. and the, the one guy's like, oh, 
what else is there? Like he just, <laughs> you know what I mean? They are, who is your favorite? Um, my favorite is, uh, what's her name? Well, I, it's a tie. I really loved Danny. Which one Danny is Danny? Danny is the girl who. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really will not settle for a, a man less unless he has his own animation studio, which is like respect girl. She knows what she wants and she's not settling for less. And she's the horniest. She is so horny. It's she, so horny. She just and she's just like just waiting for the guy to get the home run, waiting for my wiener. And yeah. like I love it. And I really hope that for her. And it seems like she found that guy is DTF. That guy <laughs> yeah. is ready. I love my favorite part was he showed her a ring that he made and at first oh. she was like oh my god thank you he's like no that's not for you and you could but that's it wasn't mine. even just that's not for you he was like oh and you yeah. can feel the uh-oh in his head where he's like she's trying to take my ring yeah but he's like but i have this one and it was like so much uglier and so but she <laughs> yeah. she held it together yeah and then the the couple that went to africa what's her name oh yeah shit i'm bad with their names i actually turned to cutter and i said if you don't i actually realized that our love is not as strong as I thought because you will not Abby. Abby, you will not sing. Can you feel the love tonight? Like if I started singing that to him, I don't think he'd pick up the cue to keep singing it with me. Although you know? not that long ago, you guys did a uh, a TikTok or an Instagram together that that went crazy, right? Yeah, we ha that was a moment that's very rare from Cutter. So I, I don't know if any of you have seen. There's this. I adore them. There's this couple, Pookie and Jet on Instagram and they were, they wasn't a joke. They like, they, she does her get ready with me's and shows the outfit that she's wearing that night. And he's there beside her and he's just madly in love with her and saying how gorgeous and sexy and wonderful. And then he shows off his outfit. They're adorable. And Cutter and I were super into them. And one night he's like, babe, get up. Let's do our own Pookie video, which I, he never gets playful like that. So yeah, <laughs> we posted uh, he, and, and then he had, such panic after I posted it was well before you posted you reached out to someone Rob we asked Rob if it was a good idea <laughs> yeah. you're like should we do this I'm like immediately well no Cutter was saying should we do this I was like already finger on the trigger yeah you yeah know? yeah it was it are was, you pulling it up yeah should we show the the pookie and whoever so they're but what you have to say about them is they act like rich people in movies of like well no she is wearing designer things like he's got his Page jeans and his Lucchese boots and like his Hermes belt. Like he, they are fancy as fuck. But they I don't just it. talk like people who are like, yeah, I'm in a, you know, whatever my shirt is, whatever my hat is. Like he's like, you look good. Uh, you know, like yeah, they have. He is madly in love with her. So Cutter and I basically did our version where we're not impersonating them, but like this is how Cutter and Jamie do it. Yeah. Right. You, you want to show We're not that? faking it. Sure. Or should, should we watch them first and then you or just you? You're the you're the, you're the you're the leader here. Can you guys find Pookie and who? What's her name? Jet. Pookie and Jet. There Campbell. She is. Campbell. There <laughs> Saturday night, going to hell is our favorite steakhouse on the planet. And I gotta say, Pookie looks absolutely fire tonight. Babe, I am just seeing your outfit for the first time. What are you wearing? She looks great. I'm wearing a House of CB top. It laces up the back, so that took some work. And then. Girlfriend denim and femme They're LA heels. They're definitely hot wifing, right? On by a friend because I've worn them so much. And my Kelly. Awesome. I am wearing a Zanya jacket, Brooks Brothers shirt, Hermes belt, Paige jeans as always, and black cherry Lucchese's tonight. You guys are the black cherry Lucchese's. He wears those a lot. Yeah. So that's Pookie and Jet. All right, here we go. We got Jamie's video. On Monday and my baby's looking unbelievable tonight. What, Show it off, what am baby. I wearing? Show I'm it wearing off. our son's baseball team t-shirt, a cozy robe I got at Target. I also got these <clears throat> shorts at Target. And Cutter, what are you wearing? You look absolutely unfucking believable right now, baby. <laughs> Thank you. I'm wearing Lululemon shorts as always. <laughs> no shoes. I'm wearing Spanish Oaks gear that was given to me for the tournament. <laughs> it's you guys are the it couple of Austin right now, I gotta so say. so lame. Yeah. But that's it. That's the reality, you know? That's, we don't go to, fan he doesn't take me to fancy steakhouses. Oh, shout out to the top comment. Heather fakes it. I know. 
Look at the that. Best. Pookie Lynn. I like it. P- Pookie Lee. Pookie Lee. Um, yeah, we were feeling playful. I know you guys love when Robbie does the ads. So here you go. Looking for an easy way to have some fun without leaving your house? Enter DraftKings Casino, the number one online casino in America with over 300 real money games. We are partnering with DraftKings on this video to let you guys know about an exciting deal they have going on right now. All new customers who sign up using promo code NOTTODAY and make a minimum $5 deposit will get a deposit match up to $100 in casino credits. That's right. You heard me. Get the wax out of your ears. DraftKings is giving all new customers up to $100 in casino credits when they sign up with promo code NOT today and make a minimum $5 deposit with over 175 slot games for you to choose from, including your favorites and an assortment of DraftKings exclusives. There are so many ways to have fun. Head over to DraftKings Casino app right now. Sign up using promo code NOT today. Make a deposit of at least $5 and DraftKings will match your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100 in casino credits. Do you know who um, the adult actress was who played you? Remember when Sopranos did – they did Sopranos? Like porn made yeah. a porn version of Sopranos. Do you know no. who – Somebody played like Meadow? They had to have, right? I, feel I don't like- know. She was like a kid in it, so. No, they got to be at least – you were over 18. Can you – I mean, by the way, that's what – Dudes fucking loving porn. It's like barely legal, like 18 and up or whatever. Mm, yeah. Um, can you look up Sopornos? There it is. Sopornos cast, maybe? <laughs> you guys giggling back there. It came out in, in 1999. Chad was so adamant that Zola look it up. He was, like, he was like, quick, oh, Zola, look it up. Look it up, look it up. I was like, Dude, you should probably look it up. It would have been even funnier if he was like, oh, it was Shonda Lynn. Like if he knew right away who played, who played Jamie in Sopornos. I just didn't want to say it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so wait, go, go back. If you go back when it showed that cast, that was the actual cast. Cause it said Tabitha yeah, Stevens. Yeah. It just wasn't putting like the character names. It doesn't say who, okay. I mean, it was probably Kendra Jade who, if you look up, <laughs> if you look up who played, maybe who played Meadow in Sopornos. I'm telling you, I don't think she was a character. No, definitely. Julie Meadows. Oh, my God. Yeah, or you're about to see some, some vagina. <sighs> Watch Deep Inside Julie Meadows. <laughs> this is really taking a turn. I talked about my colonoscopy, and now we're talking about my, my porn alter ego. There you go. Wow. Th- that's definitely not it, because she's blonde. Oh, there it's a Sopornos 3 on the bottom. We got to find out who was the, the original cast. Sopornos 3, John Strong, Julie Meadows, watch now. All right, well, let us, let us know what you guys go. No, find out. But what I was thinking is we should have her on the pod or at least talk to her. We should talk. We should be like, how'd you, how'd you get into character? You're a little character? solo epi, bruv. <laughs> yeah. Like, how'd you get into character? I for... have no interest in that at all. <laughs> nothing against her. I just have nothing to add to But that maybe you guys have a lot in common about getting into the character Definitely of Meadow. Definitely have so... nothing in common. No? You don't think Did so? Did you not see my Pookie video? There's nothing in common with a porn star. I, but, Thankfully, but... my husband thinks I'm unfucking believable Oh my god, I mean, come on, you got, uh, you got Chad in there who also thinks you're unbelievable. It's, it's, it's a PG, you got, you got a million uh, I got three guys you know. Right Right <laughs> um, So, something that uh, uh, it, My friend got an Airbnb and there was a dog door Like a little doggy door And I'm like, as a, as a fucking city kid, like that seems insane to me like uh, to have like a, in a ha- but was it a house? Yeah, it was a house, and it was why like, is it insane? Because well, first I was like, this is. And, uh, it was one of those things where I'm like, am I crazy that I think that this is crazy? And obviously, because a lot of houses have it and whatever. Yeah. But then I'm like, what about the fucking other things that get in? Like, what about when fucking raccoons or fucking rats or like other things just come through this doggy door, and now those things are in your house? I don't think about that. That's you the think first a, a thing rat's I f- gonna push through a doggy door? Yeah, definitely. Of, of course, yeah, of course. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. You're gonna have like, uh, or what if it's a raccoon? What if they smell when you're cooking dinner? Right. And all these animals start to smell fucking food. So, well, don't they make them now where there's like a a dog can wear a collar and it'll like unlock it when it gets near it? I have seen that. 
But this was just like this a, was a plain old fashioned doggy door. This was just regular, like a flap. Like you could just fucking go. Yeah, I think that's crazy to have. Yeah, and I was like, I guess as a city kid, I'm just like super like hyper sensitive yeah. about that because I'm like, yo, what? But so then I go online like later, and I'm like, let me see. I'm I'm looking shit up. It's like bear in gets through a doggy door, and like all these. Other, there was a vulture in a woman's fucking <gasps> living room, just like Can this crazy you shit. I'm like how. Who's still putting fucking doggy, like allowing doggy doors? Because there's got to be raccoon. Design flaw. Yeah. Could you imagine a fucking yeah. raccoon? Yeah, you've changed my mind. Yeah. yeah. That would scare the shit. Oh my God. Did you see the viral video going around about a monkey that got into this girl's hotel room and took her vape and they were like trying to get the vape out of him and he just ran out with the vape? Was it vaping? It went to put it in its mouth. Wow. Because it was, you know, smart. There it is. Look at this. There's another one. It's gonna come in here if they can get it. <laughs> you need to wake up. Hi, honey. <gasps> hey, guy. Hey. Baby. Hi, honey. You want, you want the apple? He's about to take Hi. your fucking iPad. Oh, I love monkeys so much. <laughs> There's an apple there. Go get it, hun. What the f? Oh, it's a, you have a monkey on your bed. <laughs> the girl's bed's down. Did she not know monkeys are like... Watch this. It's going to come and take it now. The apple's outside. Oh, my God. Whoa. That's my vape. That's my vape. Oh, honey, come here. Sarah, (laughs) it's smoking my vape. (laughs) (laughs) No. Oh, my God. I just put them away. Want a chip? Here. Come here. Give me a chip. Here. I want to go to this wherever this hotel is. I would like to go. Yourself, really? Here, this is my dream. Oh, hey. You're not I, down. I think you want to chill with Penny, monkeys. You're not down with a monkey, bro. This is my bro. dream. My this dream is, oh. would to be have a monkey rummaging through my hotel room. Cool. Wait till that monkey rips out her fucking eyeball, man. <laughs> I ain't playing around with these monkeys, man. That's crazy. What? Uh, uh-uh. Yeah, that one looked like it was. It gets humans. Yeah, for now. No, okay. What happens when it wants your food and you're like, ooh, not not right now, buddy. It's, oh, really? Rah, fucking right in your face. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I don't know. That. So I, 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 think, take I think if you want to hang with monkeys, you should go like chill with trained monkeys. I don't think you want to chill with like wild monkeys in your hotel room. I'm not picky. Well, maybe after I show you what I'm about to show you. So, uh, you know, best friend, 30 years, Rex. He went on vacation uh, a few weeks ago and he hits me up. And I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this in the pop, but this is, you got to. And he's like, yo, some crazy shit just happened on my vacation. I'm like, what? He's like, I'm up in uh, our room and we hear a woman screaming like bloody murder in the hallway. And he's like, I go running out. And can you send, Zolo, can you show the video that I just sent you? Yeah. So this woman, there's like a monkey. Yeah. Like full on. See this guy? So he zooms in on him. So this is him walking away. Where is he? In Mexico. But he had to like full on like, he was like, yo, I had to like get in the way of this woman and this monkey. And I had to like, you know, he wasn't like, I w- it wasn't like fighting, but like he was like full teeth out. Like he had to, it, again, it wasn't a fight, but it was like he had to s- guard this woman and like, like, uh, uh, and Rex just grabbed it and like threw it. Like, he had to throw it away. Like, yeah, he had to, The like, monkey? Yeah, he was, like, he waited till it grabbed him, and then he took it, and he just fucking threw it. And it didn't try to That was it just Rex? walking away, that video I sent you. Wow. Yeah, so... In Mexico? Mexico. Where in Mexico? I don't know. Deep. Not, like, a normal thing I've ever heard Find of. out. I'd like to go. You really want to go? I still want to go. What are you going to do? What if these monkeys... I have this irrational belief that I can tame any animal <laughs> well you need to talk to tom and christine about it because they hate people like you <laughs> they they always show videos like people with wolves who think that they can and like the wolf can you show that video of the wolf i'm like, saying it's irrational i'm not oh, no, yeah. i'm not i know i'm but crazy you, but also what's the where it's a fantasy it's, i should it's, say it's, it's a fantasy it's an irrational fantasy but also where's the resort <laughs> like you want to go <laughs> I what, do. yeah so it's not too around you 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 believe that this is i would like to try I'd like to be right. given the we opportunity. We got to get you something. We got to start you tri- like uh, training wheels. We got to get you. Yeah. So look at this. Oh no, is she gonna get attacked? No. So this is a lady who's with like wild wolves, and she thinks that like she's one, she's of, them, one of them. And, yeah. That's. Just... Oh my god. 
Look at this. While placing a strong foot on the ground to prevent yourself from being knocked down, as they will trust you more and can learn everything about you as a person, which includes your body chemistry, if you are sick or well, what you have eaten, and also if you are kind and One second away from ripping her face off. Body assistant on licking the inside of my mouth for affirmation, ah! so I allowed her to. All the while acknowledging the strict pack order. They that is disgusting. You wouldn't want him to look. Is, Here, how about this? I don't want to watch Here. this. Is she going to do it again? No, no, no. This is the crazy part. Watch. The licking inside her mouth wasn't Rated crazy? In no, I'd rather ranking. that than... I make sure to ignore the lower walls. The, uh, when uh, the can you find the part where he's like growling an itch away sad, from her face? But safer for... <laughs> But it's very important not to move in case of redirected aggression. Yeah, I let him. I let him lick inside my mouth. The, the only thing is, you can't move because they might just destroy. Redirect their aggression. Down. Holy shit! So is she the alpha's like bitch? Like is she like the alpha's like side chick? I don't know. I don't know how this should go. But Jamie, I think we get you. We can get like you know what we should do it here. We should bring a monkey in here, dude. Oh my god, I would love it. Let's do it, can, Zolo. Can we arrange that? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Get a monkey. Yeah. Hey, Zolo. Making dreams come Get true here in YMH Studios. <laughs> yeah. Probably try. I mean, it's Texas. They probably have some crazy animal. There's like, some exotic animals sure. here. We gotta get. We gotta get a little trained monkey like to next come to in me here for and, a whole episode. Oh, oh could you the monkey episode? Come on. Can, can you show the picture I just sent you, Zolo, to Amy Lee? I don't know if I ever showed you this picture, Jamie. <gasps> where'd you meet a chimp? Was that backstage at some something? It was at one of these like crazy Vegas. Oh my gosh! Uh, things and the best part about this guy, he's wearing jean shorts. Of Look, course he is. He's wearing little oh, jean shorts. Oh, buddy! He was awesome. It wow. was so. I'm so content right there. Meanwhile, he has his arm wrapped. If he just grabs my chin and pulls, he kills me. He kills you. Yeah, dead. How does it make <sighs> you feel, any? <laughs> Crazy man. Chimps yeah. are crazy. chimps are That's more crazy, dude. chimps are more. No, he got chill. a little, he got a little crazy at one point. He started slamming the ground like in anger. They're like toddlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was kind of and then he started like there were like four sets of stairs like it was like designed this this place we were in and he started just like he was like thirty Running. feet up in the air out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Wow. I, I feel like so if happy. I can handle Jack, I can handle it. By gym. the way, high as fuck right there. You can like see it stoned? in my eyes. I mean, I'm probably on perks, Zannies. Like, I'm not. I'm you not look, drinking. You I can tell content. you that. Yeah, I'm. I'm so happy. You look happy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Can we? Should we? I think we should do that. I think we should. Okay, Zolo, can you just Google like renting a monkey for the day, Austin, Texas? <laughs> gotcha. Let's let's see what comes up, James. I think that could I'm be awesome. I'm gonna read awesome. a question while he finds yeah, me yeah, a monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need we need we need to start getting into these questions of uh, other people who have been on this show. If you could become a rock instead of dying, would you? Oh, I kind of like that. Would you? Wow. I don't want to be a, a fucking that's a rock. That's a deep question. Would you People become a kick rock? me. People throw me. I don't want to be a rock. You just have to sit there and conscious. You're a conscious rock. No. Hmm. I'll die. See ya. I don't know. I kinda... See ya in the next one. Right, what if the only next one was the rock? There is no other next one. Otherwise, it's just all over. It's all over or the rock. Good night. But what if you're a rock on like a gorgeous lake or, you know what I mean? I don't want to It's be over? Rock. Man, I don't know. I think I, um, yeah, I think You maybe are a rock. What do you mean? I am kind of a rock. <laughs> you are a rock. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I would like to be a rock for like a year or two. That would be cool. But, but not for eternity. Not given yeah. the option here. It's one or right. the other. Right. Eternity. I can't be a rock for yeah. eternity. Because yeah. then you just, you're just, you're just nothing but you're there. Yeah. That's tough. It's like a, that Metallica song. One. Where he just fucking, guy had his legs blown off and he's just, he's there, but he's not. There's uh, a jammed. song about that? Yeah, listen to that song. Yeah. What do we got for uh, monkey rentals? <laughs> I don't want, yeah, but I don't want like, no. You don't I want don't a want little, a little one. You, really? Well, come on. The smaller, the, the we'll, we'll start small, Jane. Those, they don't, they're he's not, got they're a, not this, this monkey's got a 5.0 <laughs> review. <Rating. laughs> For parties. Look he's at been, the teeth in the second photo. He's been rated 5.0. Yeah, but there's a snake up there too. They're wild and over there. You know what we should get too? We should get like a, like a, what are those birds that they have to like blindfold because they're so crazy? We get like a hawk in here. We should do like an animal episode. Like when <laughs> Jay Leno has the exotic yeah, animals on? We should do an animal episode. I'm down. I kind of like that. What, uh, so this not. is what we found? What did we find over here, Zola? 
I think this is a service that does parties where they'll bring you a monkey. Um, All right, that's California. Do we have a Texas one? I'm sure we could fly them in. Yeah, we, we could we could arrange something. What have do you think, Tom? Fire up the jet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think they cost? Have Daddy fire up the jet. <laughs> yeah. we'll get a quote. Eh? It says six seventy five per hour. I we'll, get, we'll, we'll make it. That's not bad. You should call. We don't up, have enough ad sales for that yeah, yet. <laughs> you should call up uh, Tom, but talk like Fifi and and who's the guys who you like in that Pookie? You should make Daddy. Daddy, I want a monkey. See if he'll get you a monkey. You know? What do you mean? I'll call Miss Jamie and say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, let's I'm go. not going to. I'm not going to hold my breath. Let's get another question out of that cup. Okay. We need to. We. I feel like we never go to these questions. Okay. <laughs> if you had, did anybody write who that question was from? No, by the way, oh, no. unfortunate. If you had one thing left to do before you had a fist fight with Cutter, what would it be? I don't even know what that means. If you had one thing left to do before you had a fist fight with Cutter, what would it be? What does that mean? Is this for me or Rob? I think whoever wrote that had a stroke. Yeah, <laughs> that's a wild... Are you okay? Like oh, the writing is question. a little crazy. This yeah. looks like a propofol question to me. <laughs> you had... Did you write that question? <laughs> I wrote this on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. If you had one thing left to do before you had a fist fight with Cutter, what would it be? Well, I almost drop kicked a ring light the other day when Cutter was reading with me for an audition. So I can tell you, there's not much between me and my rage for him at times. Uh, yeah, I've seen. You know? I've seen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I feel like unfortunately, so if I had one thing left to do. I feel I like know. he gets all of your rage. Like he gets the world because he 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 is he a pokes. perfect landing. Oh, he pokes. He pokes. He's a big poker. But he's also proven that he takes it. And so I don't have to give it to anybody else in the world but him. It's part, Luke, look, you see how in love he is with me? <laughs> yes. I've Listen, I've never, when you talk about poking, I've never had someone ask me the same question as many times as Cutter will. It's, it's so... It's mind-blowing. I, I tell him, I'm like, hey, I'm like, scroll up seven texts. Like, if you want the answer to the question you just asked you me, and he's no like, bro. idea and like, how bro. <laughs> validated I feel right now. <laughs> he makes you feel like you're crazy. He's really good at that. But he's, he's, he's one of my favorite people to talk to. Uh, he's course. the best. I'm madly in love with him. Yeah. He drives crazy. He will ask me the same questions four times in a day. There's not much that's left to do before a fist fight with Cutter. Let's put it that way. I don't I'm even on know the what, brink of it. I don't even know what that would mean. Like, what, crack your knuckle? Like, what, what are you doing before? Stretch? Uh, yeah, get a little stretch in. I don't know. Yeah. Cold plunge? Put the kids I'd probably to, cold put plunge. Put the kids to bed. <laughs> yeah, get, get to the cold plunge. <laughs> oh, do we have a memory lane? Yeah. Oh, that was a that was a good yeah. Oh, this was the nipple dress. This, this is the dress. This that is the, the nipple came out nipple, of. Yeah. Gosh, I miss wearing high heels like that. Wow. Yep. This is the infamous nipple photo. Is the nipple out in this one? No. I was about no. to say, do I see it? I think you maybe might. a little bit. You I might. Mean, this might be the, it. Little top you can zoom in. You can zoom in. I won't look. Guys, how dare you? I don't want to. I don't want to see it either. I f very. Yeah. This is on. this is the nipple dress. Not Yami yeah, Lee. Okay, Rob. Not Yami Lee's nip. But this was when I started learning how to dress like I wasn't shopping at the mall at Bloomingdale's and putting together an outfit for a very fancy award show. Like this was one of the first times that I actually like went to a designer and was like, can I borrow this dress and can I borrow these diamonds? And I still did my own hair and makeup. I'm pretty sure I like slept in braids the night before. You know that old move that girls do? Yeah. Um, but Yeah. This is the infamous nip slip dress. So this is the Emmys. Uh, 2000. Really? I'm 15 there? 2000? I think I'm a little older 2000? than that. I think I might be 17. I'm going to go 2002. 2000. Nailed it, Jamie. 2000. Yep. Wow. Good job, Jamie. And it's the Emmys, right? Yep. 52nd Emmys at the Shrine Auditorium. I look older than 15 there. You do. Huh. All right. You, do. you still look like a kid. You look great. It's just, any doesn't believe I don't want to see your nip. It's so weird to me that people. It's it's not weird. It's insulting that people think. Some people think I I've know. had a crush on you I for know. like thirty. Because here's why it's insulting. Go ahead. It's such a it's such a loser move to have a crush on someone for like twenty five <laughs> years and never tell. Like you've seen me. As drunk as yes. humanly possible, everything. And somehow there's it's never just, been that vibe. There's never been. For I think one... it's hard for people to understand that there's a can be a platonic 
like closeness that we have. But again, like Rob and I went through a very, very, very specific, unique experience, had a lot of life happen to us during that experience. And like, yeah, just have chosen to remain really close. So yes, I know. I see, I see some of those comments and things. Wait, they're from the boys in the booth, those comments. Oh, you guys are the trolls? No, and, and he just said, he was like, yeah, right. When I was like, I don't want to see your tit. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah I right. I don't dude. believe you. I could say that I'm probably up there with Rob's mom of tits he doesn't want to see. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's like my my mom, then my Sister. legit sisters, and you're right. Yeah. You're right yeah. under the yeah. legit yeah. sisters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, I already had a colonoscopy. I think I'm on many people's list of like, I don't need to see your tit. And here's the other thing. I had a crush on Drea De Matteo when we you were did, on The Sopranos, and you, made it and, and you know who knew the whole time? Drea. Drea De Matteo. You guys would flirt with each other. It was your thing. It was adorable. I, if people think I have a crush on you, I don't care. But I think it's like, man, you guys think I'm that much of a loser? Where for like thirty years, I'm just like, like I'm going over your house every Sunday, sitting with you and your husband, and being like, <laughs> man, I'm just. And by the way, like, not only have we been so drunk together, I was there when you got divorced. Like, listen, guys. He was at all if, my weddings. Yeah, if, <laughs> I was at all of her. If Robbie wanted to make the move, it would have, I mean, yeah. I, there's there's photos of us from like Emmy Awards like that, like in the same bed together. Where like, it's like, it's never you're, been a vibe. F- you're family to me. I yeah. would never. Yeah. I, and I don't, I don't, again, it's just that I, I'm like, damn, people think for like 25 years, I've just been sitting here like waiting for, <laughs> that's so sad. It's the ultimate cover. Oh, Chad's entered the chat. Oh, yeah, of course, Chad, because he's like the fucking horniest guy for you besides fucking what PG. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, but at least he admitted so it, though. You know what I'm saying? No, so. I, ne- I never admitted that. Yeah, you did. Oh, guys. Yeah, you had you fully. The, uh, I, I mean, listen, I, I don't anyway, know. Hey, anyway. <laughs> Awkward. No, 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 it's not awkward. That's you guys, an episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Should we call PG? <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.